They say that kids imitate characters in video games, but I have yet to become a mustached plumber. Hello audience, it is I, the Great Swagta, coming at you pre-recorded, heavily edited, and energetic as f you know, I received some comments and messages on my latest video. Some people felt I was being a bit too, uh, formal and had too much of a documentary style approach. So this video is gonna be straight up swagta. How about that? I'm sure a lot of you remember the, uh, Leslie Bensies versus Rockstar Games situation that happened back in 2016. I am aware that three years in real life equal, like, 50 internet years. So allow me to jog your memory by giving you some context. I'm gonna do my best to quickly summarize the event without glossing over too much detail, so, uh, please. Bear with me. So Leslie Benzies is a video game producer who had been employed as a higher-up at Rockstar Games since 1995, back when Rockstar Games was still known as DMA Design. Throughout the years, Leslie and the Hauser brothers worked on writing and producing most of the games by Rockstar, ranging from Manhunt to L.A. Noir, Bully, and most notably, Grand Theft Auto. Leslie Bensey's main involvement with Rockstar Games has always been with Rockstar North. One year following the release of Grand Theft Auto V, Leslie decided to take some time off. And a couple of years following this, it came to light that Leslie had left Rockstar Games. And a few months following this, Bensey's filed a lawsuit against Rockstar Games, claiming that other higher-ups at the company had convinced him to take a sabbatical leave, at which point they, quote, sought to force him out of the company and terminate his portion of royalty payments based upon arbitrary actions by the company's royalty allocation committee, a committee that may or may not have actually ever met. So after returning from his leave to resume work at Rockstar Games, Leslie found himself unable to enter the Rockstar North office building. After being let inside by building security, Mr. Bensies was then ordered to leave by the Rockstar North office manager without a reason. Rockstar Games then released the following statement. Leslie Bensies was a valued employee of our company for many years. Sadly, the events that culminated in his resignation ultimately stem from his significance performance and conduct issues. Despite our repeated efforts to address and resolve these issues amicably, both before and after his departure, Leslie has chosen to take this route in an attempt to set aside contract terms to which he previously agreed on multiple occasions. His claims are entirely without merit and and in many instances downright bizarre, and we are very confident that this matter will be resolved in our favor. A core ethos since Rockstar's inception has been the concept of the team. It is deeply disappointing and simply wrong for Leslie to attempt to take personal credit for what has always been the tremendous efforts of the entire Rockstar team, who remain hard at work delivering the most immersive and engaging entertainment experiences we can for our fans. We do not intend to comment further on this matter. Leslie Bensies then sought out to receive 150 million, that's a lot of money, 150 million US dollars in unpaid royalties, at which point Rockstar Games of course filed a countersuit, claiming that he left the company out of his own volition. Okay, so we're like halfway there, just like allow me to get through the, the context I need to put forth in this video and then I'll get to a, a point I want to make and a response I want to make as well. In 2017, he decided to start up his own video game company named Royal Circus Games, quite possibly a slight and very subtle jab at Rockstar Games. Eventually, in 2018, the Leslie Bensies vs. Rockstar Games lawsuit concluded with Leslie being partially compensated for unpaid royalties, despite 12 out of the 18 claims made by him being dismissed. So basically, they just said, okay, let's settle this, you'll get your unpaid royalties, and you can then f*** off. It is a bit more formal than that, considering that it's a lawsuit, but uh, that's kind of the, the gist of the matter. About five months ago, Leslie announced that Royal Circus Games had been renamed to uh, Build a Rocket Boy Games. Now you might think that Leslie Bensies being financially compensated would be the end of this frankly absurd situation, but uh, you'd be wrong. A game entitled Everywhere had begun development in 2016 by Royal Circus Games, again, now known as Build a Rocket Boy Games. So here's how Benzies described it. Everywhere has a lot of traditional game mechanics, but uh, we're going for something more that draws inspiration from, well, everywhere. 
Players are getting smarter and require more from their games. And we want players to have the real freedom to live in our worlds the ways they want to. We're aiming to offer a huge variety of game modes and styles that not only tell our stories, but also enable players to live in the identities and adventures they most want to explore. I am proud to have been part of past advancements in gaming, but I am even more excited about what we have in store for the future. The working title of this game is Everywhere, and the vision is long term, with the capacity to develop and grow forever. Our goal is to create a platform where players can be entertained and also entertain others while blurring the lines between reality and a simulated world. Sounds awesome, right? One of the biggest players in the video game industry working on a new game. A clean slate for a brand new up-and-coming video game company. How could you possibly go wrong? You have an award-winning veteran in video game production funding and directing his own studio. A huge and almost limitless open world game which blurs the lines between reality and simulation. This sounds like it's gonna be a pretty f***ing sweet game, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> that is until you, uh hit the fast forward button to 2019. Grand Theft Auto Pioneer accused of poaching staff in court battle. Leslie Bensies, the former president of Rockstar North, who is widely credited with the success of the critically acclaimed Grand Theft Auto franchise, is mired in a US court fight with the game's publishers over millions of pounds in unpaid royalties. In the letter filed with the New York Supreme Court, Dale Sindali, an intellectual property lawyer at the New York legal outfit Kirkland and Ellis accused Royal Circus Games, which was renamed Build a Rocket Boy Games in October, of having quote, attempted to solicit Rockstar Games, RSG, employees. It appears that Royal Circus Games may have targeted these employees based on knowledge of confidential personnel and business practices only available to it because of the former RSG employee's prior employment at RSG. Sendali suggests that Ben Cease and his colleagues had tried to deliberately hoodwink consumers into believing that their new firm was affiliated with Rockstar Games. The choice of the Royal Circus Games trademark, which shortens to RCG, and will presumably use an R design logo, is clearly intended to cause confusion with the RSG trademarks and mislead consumers into believing that there is an affiliation, connection, or association between RCG and RSG. Christopher Bakes, a lawyer with the California firm, dismissed Take-Two's arguments. Quote, Do you have a particular basis on which to make this extreme charge? Do you presume that all new Take-Two and entertainment hires are just ruses to get confidential information belonging to others? Please, let me also remind you that your clients' companies are not feudal estates where worker movements can be controlled and harassed. Each employee was free to seek other employment and they did so. So now that we're all up to speed, let's take a moment and uh, talk about what this means for uh, Rockstar Games and Build a Rocket Boy Games. As for uh, the game everywhere, I, I guess I'll give my opinion on that, because that's the whole point of this video after all. This game is gonna sell like sh it's either gonna be flung into development hell because of the sheer magnitude of such a huge project, or it's gonna get released and be a financial flop. I can just tell. I can just tell that this is not gonna be a successful endeavor for Leslie Bensies or Build a Rocket Boy games. As a matter of fact, let's let's take a look at the official everywhere social media pages. I'm sure you'll see what I mean. Twitter. 3,733 followers, averaging 50 likes per post. Facebook, 1,735 followers, averaging 40 likes per post. Instagram, 201 followers, averaging 15 likes per post. Not to gloat or anything, but uh, I, I get way more attention on social media than this game does. Just think about that for a second. A fat stoner making videos about a 13-year-old game gets hundreds of times more attention than the magnum opus of one of the biggest names in the video game industry. That's abysmal. That is absolutely stunning when you consider how far Bensi's influence has fallen. Bear in mind that I'm not a big-time video game producer, nor am I really a celebrity like Leslie Bensi's. I am a small-time YouTuber with 95,000 subscribers. 
And even I get way more exposure on social media than Build a Rocket Boy does. Leslie Benzies is a very talented video game producer and writer, credited in some of the most best-selling and record-breaking video games to ever be created. Me? <laughs> I'm like a D-list e-celebrity. At best. Oh, and uh, speaking of D-list e-celebrities, let's have a look at a, 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 a tweet. A tweet Red Bandit recently made on this. Hello, YouTube, it's me, Swag, just editing this video, and uh, I was gonna get a screenshot of Red Bandit's Twitter page. I was gonna get a screenshot of the tweet I am responding to in this video, but lo and behold, his Twitter account has either been suspended or uh, he deleted it. I don't know which, I don't know what happened, but it's gone, but thankfully I do still have the uh, quote in text, so I'm not gonna be able to show the actual tweet, but uh, yeah, just thought I'd clear that up before I proceed with the video. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> and yes, I know that a lot of people have mixed feelings about the guy, I've seen some people complain about the fact that he doesn't listen to feedback from his fans, and blah blah blah. Thinking of making another channel dedicated to Red Dead Online. A fresh start for non-news related content. What do you think? 73% of 6.1 thousand people said no. New channel for Red Dead Online already at 100 subs. Meaning he completely ignored the poll and what his fans wanted. I mean, make a new channel if you want, but why did you bother having a poll if you were gonna do it anyway? It kinda spits in the face of your fans if you ask me. However you may feel about Red Bandit as a person or as an entertainer on YouTube, let's set aside all that and see what he has to say. I have so much faith in Leslie Bensies and his new company set to rival Rockstar Games. I must admit that his departure from Rockstar Games post-release of GTA 5 is suspicious, and since then Rockstar have certainly partaken shady sh**. I hope his new game, Everywhere, wins the war. You, uh, have faith. Faith. That, uh, Ben Seas will rival Rockstar Games. Hmm. Faith. Well, isn't that just f***ing special? What I find interesting about this tweet is the fact that there really isn't, uh, anything. At all. That would lead me to have anything even approaching faith in Ben Seas. I think... You know what? I, no. I, I don't just think, I know that at this rate, if marketing for the game continues going as poorly as it has, his new game is doomed to fail. You wanna know what makes me so sure, Red Bandit? You wanna know what makes me think that you're the most naive person I've seen all day? Not only has Rockstar Games made Benzies look like somebody they can do damn well without, I mean, just consider the critical acclaim of Red Dead Redemption 2. Not only have they basically chewed up and spat out Benzies without any hesitation at all, but, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, I think you have, I think you've noticed that Benzies has a pretty terrible social media marketing team on his side. <laughs> if he even has a team, that is. I mean, for all we know, Benzies could be managing all of the social media pages by himself. Think about it, it's not like it requires more than one one person to read all 10 comments he averages per post. Rockstar, on the other hand, has a team full of very skillful people. People who know how to create anticipation and hype for almost anything they announce. I've noticed something kind of interesting about, uh, everywhere. And that's the fact that, uh, 99% of every person I've talked to about this game has no clue what I'm talking about. The vast majority of people in the Rockstar Games fanbase, including big-time YouTubers I've talked to about this, they all have one thing in common, and that's... <laughs> whenever somebody talks about this game, they scratch their heads and go, Huh? What? Everywhere? What? What's that? Nobody cares about this game. Nobody knows about it, and most of the people who do are not gonna buy it. And you know what? It sucks. It actually sucks. I'm not some Leslie Benzies detractor making this video for the sake of shitting on the guy. I genuinely want to see him succeed and provide all of us with grade mother A entertainment. I'd love to see Everywhere get released and take me by pleasant surprise, just the way Bully did back in 2006, but it's not gonna happen. Leslie Benzies realizes that he needs the employees of Rockstar Games, or else he wouldn't have made several attempts at recruiting them. 
them. He realizes that he needs to mimic Rockstar or else he wouldn't be making an attempt at outdoing Rockstar and basically creating the biggest game ever made. He realizes that he needs his first official solo game project to... I don't know, basically revolutionize gaming in order for anyone to give a flying f And even when he proudly proclaims to be working on just that, is there anyone who actually talks about it? I don't know about you, but I've not seen a single person even mention everywhere in the past three months. Rockstar's Instagram page alone gets way more likes and comments in a single solitary minute than all of his posts combined. I mean, hell, just me going on weed-fueled emo rants on Twitter gets like 10 times more attention than all of his announcements do. And you're telling me that you have faith in Leslie Bensey's rivaling Rockstar games? You're telling me that you have hope that everywhere a game nobody cares about is gonna win the war? Here's what you should expect. You should either expect that everywhere gets cancelled, or at the very least put on hold indefinitely, or Leslie Bensey's retires from video game development. Now you might say, well, Swigta. You don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, you know, the, the game has not really been marketed outside of social media, so, so how would you know? Yeah, sure. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am being unrealistic. But hey, at least I don't allow naivete to make me think that there's a snowball's chance in hell of Leslie Bensey's ever succeeding again. You know, Red Bandit? It's kind of funny to me. It's kind of funny how you go on and on about how badly Rockstar's doing with Red Dead Online. And, and you are right about that to some extent, at least. The part that amuses me about all of this is how you're perfectly able to detect failure on Rockstar's part when their online mode has a very lukewarm reception. But the thing that amuses me and actually confuses me as well is how you're unable to detect failure when it comes to one of the most influential video game producers of all time averaging 20 to 50 likes per post. Either you are unbelievably biased or you're incredibly naive. Pick one. Again, I hope I'm wrong. And I do hope that, as you put it, he rivals Rockstar Games. <laughs> but I most definitely don't have faith in any of that. Have some goddamn faith! <laughs>